Hello everybody and welcome to another quick tip video for the blender modeling. This time it will be about adding cylindrical or circular shapes uh, to your existing model. So you have uh, some uh, geometry, some mesh and you will add some holes, tubes, whatever to it. And I highly suggest to actually do it after you have already uh, finished the mesh or the general shape because uh, when you adding circles in the uh, polygon modeler as blender you don't have ability to actually add a circle as it is you have to add some angon and you have to know uh, the number of vertices or faces before you adding that uh, circle so if you already have the geometry you can decide or you can work with the existing geometry and you don't have to uh, just guess uh, how many vertices your circle should have well if you look at this geometry is mess and rubbish and uh, this time uh, this quick tip isn't about cleaning the topology so for any reason this is what you have and you just need to put uh, for example here the tube or hole or whatever so the easiest way is go to face selection select the faces where the tube will be for example here and delete them x faces uh, I am working on planar uh, face I will show you later how to accomplish this on uh, the curved surface but for the planar face just select the uh, uh, newly uh, existed loop uh, extrude it and go to W and use uh, blender add-on loop tools that is right written for this purpose go to circle you can uh, exact uh, set the radius for the your circle and it's pretty much all it's done you can do whatever you want in this with this uh, but uh, often you will run to problem where the geometry you will get will look like this and you just again for some reason you can't uh, edit it you just have this as the some profile or outcome of uh, work of another uh, someone else or whatever and you have to make circle here so you will do the same thing extrude it loop tools circle but you will run to problem here where uh, you have actually a concave shape on the quad which is not good thing you should get rid of this uh, sometimes you can just rotate the circle and it will uh, manage to get rid of your problems but it's really rare that it actually help so you have to move the vertices move the geometry uh, if I can uh, edit the outline I will move for example this vertex uh, with double tap G and it's done but if I can't I am forced to add another loop cut and I have I, I can edit this loop cut uh, in many cases all that uh, needs to be done is again loop tools and relax and it will uh, mostly solve the problems that uh, you will encounter but as you can see not in this particular case so I will uh, go back in control with control Z and I will have to manually move these vertices well in this case I have this uh, face uh, align with axis so I can actually go to uh, the front view and freely move the vertices and I can be sure that I'm uh, still on this face 
but again what what if what if somebody give us shape like this and I have to move these vertices and I have to be uh, with my view align with this face well it's again easy with blender just select some face from this plane and hit shift and 7 on the number pad it will align your view with this face so for example if you want a hole in this uh, plane just shift 7 and I'm aligned here so I will go back shift 7 and when I am moving the vertices I can be sure that I am still in the plane and I am not moving them uh, up or down so I am not distorting the surface well if I want extrude this right now I will go back to the front or to this view uh, you actually uh, can think that you will set transform orientation to normal and extrude it along the Z axis but if you extrude this the uh, axis will tilt and tilt pretty much randomly so don't believe this uh, so better way is delete this vertices select what you want to extrude fill it with angon and then extrude the angon it will automatically extrude uh, along the normal of the angon well and then you can delete the faces if you want so you have perpendicular tube to your plane and as in the first uh, quick tip you can just add some beveling with two segments and one profile and if I apply subsurf again I have my tube and it's pretty much all and what if uh, I want I have for example this kind of a shape and I would like to have uh, this ring again a little bit further so I will copy this move it why it's not moving along the axis well for example here and uh, I already have a precise number of vertices but it's uh, rarely the case so uh, just go to the top view or the view where this is perpendicular to your view as you know now it's uh, shift and 7 on the number pad and uh, you have the exact number of vertices as the double of planes under it or edges under it for example I would need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 6 backwards so 12 vertices uh, I already have them but what if I need another number and I already add the circle I have my radius set everything is done I won't add just one vertex here so I can for example subdivide this edge but it's not really a regular circle so what I can do is select this circle and again use loop tools W loop tools space it will uh, make all the edges same length and repair the deformation again with circle but without radius it will stay the same but now you exactly see the reason I did it but uh, because now I have 13 vertices I need 12 so I get rid of one so just X and dissolve this vertis, vertex select the circle W space W circle and voila I am ready to uh, put this circle on the top pipe or whatever 
so I will go again to the perpendicular view and I will add just one loop cut and as you can see the loop cut is uh, deformed because of this uh, previous cutting so I can hit E for even loop cut and it will choose the side uh, where it will get even from and I can flip it with F so now I am even from this regular side so I have this straight and put it in the middle now uh, in the middle of the circle now I will uh, select the inner vertices I can just select the first and last with control and it will select uh, anything uh, between and hit V for separation and now I want just slide this uh, along the edges so I will hit G and it will slide as the loop cut for example and I will hold shift for precision and align it with the circle under it I will deselect the corners and again double tap G align select the last one double tap G and with shift for precise control align it same thing in the other side it's not really the best method but this is what I am using if you know how to particularly this part make quicker or easier definitely let me know I would like to know but I am using this oh it's not the best method around well and you have the cut it circle uh, hole and your circle just select both with alt and shift and w bridge edlo edge loops and you should be happy just the supporting edges for uh, subserve select where there will be supported uh, bevel them and you will encounter again the triangles and as you know triangle always faces to the angle here is angle so I can collapse this edge at center and this I will collapse all three at once at the last one here so at the last uh, it probably will need some adjustments cleaning but it's only on the uh, corners so you will just do it twice so at center alt M at last and little bit adjusting well when I'm enabling subserve again voila I'm happy this should be the result uh, if you are making uh, the radius of the pipes uh, the same uh, it means that uh, the vertices number will be same as well uh, and it's pretty much all uh, if you want some additional information just let me know in the comments I hope this will somehow help you that you like it I uh, very much uh, thank you for watching and I'm again it will take longer took longer than it should so I'm looking forward to next video and bye